Hi, it's great to meet you. What I'd like to know from you is how I, at the age of 16, can get into the technology industry. Well, the technology, getting into the technology industry is mm -hmm. easier, easier than you may think. At the end of the day, the technology industry means any innovation. And if you're 16, which apparently you are, then think about it. Technology is in your life every day. It's in the phone you're carrying. It's on the Facebook that you're probably using when your parents aren't looking. It's the way you mm -hmm. chat. It's the way you flirt. It's the way you play. It's all technology. And all of those things that are actually very cool are the devices and the innovations that make up the technology industry. And so if you want to get involved in the technology industry, then there's only two things you have to remember. One, most people who enter are educated, and they're educated somehow, whether it's through mm -hmm. secondary school or through university or through college or through a polytechnic. It doesn't really make a difference as long as they keep on with their education. And two, you have to really love technology. You've got to bring out your inner geek. You have to decide to yourself, mobile phones are fun, and I'm going to be involved with mobile phones for the rest of my life. Or you can think about yourself as an entrepreneur. Think of what you can do that no one else yeah. has done before. Make things up. Entrepreneurs, at the end of the day, are just people who come up with new ideas and then act upon them. If you really mm -hmm. want to be an entrepreneur, the best thing to do is to get a job with a very, very small company. Because it's the very small companies that are the ones who are changing the world. And they're the ones where you learn how to do pretty much a little bit of everything. So, would I need a lot of qualifications? Do I need a degree? Or could I just walk into a job? Technology industry is very broad. So whether you need a degree or not depends in part upon what kind of job you're looking for. And you have to look inside yourself and ask, what kind of person am I? If you're going to be a software programmer, then though you don't technically need a degree, you do need to know how to program. I've hired people with and without degrees, but for the most part, people who are software programmers, engineers, have gotten degrees in computer science or have learned programming while they're at university. On the other hand, people who are in sales and in marketing um, don't necessarily have degrees, though the more educated you are, the better off you are. Mm -hmm. People do it all the time without degrees, but that means they're overcoming an obstacle when they don't have to have that obstacle at all. So would you say enthusiasm is just not enough? Being good at gaming isn't enough. I need qualifications as well. Being good at gaming is very good. It's very good to be a good gamer. I'm a good gamer. At least I'm a, I think I'm a good gamer. Um, but generally, that doesn't appear number one on my resume. <laughs> so you have to have qualifications as well as skills and talent at the stuff you're interested in. But it's nice to have that as well. I would never hire somebody to go sell gaming software for me if they didn't also love games. Right. And what about mobile phones? because you've just moved into that sort of area, haven't you? I just recently entered the mobile industry by starting a software company called TrueTap, which is interestingly enough targeted at teenagers. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is very simple. If you're a teenager and you're sitting in front of your computer, you have a social life, an electronic social life. That social life is composed of MSN, Facebook, MySpace, and a variety of different ways mm -hmm. you communicate and socialize. All we wanted to do was to let you stay, keep that social life alive when you walked away from the computer and transport it onto your mobile phone. And so we created a new type of software called TrueTap that lets you do that. Um, if you look at the average age in that company, there's about 30 people, and the average age would be about 23, except that I'm there, which means it drags the average age up hugely to like 24, you know, because, you know, one man out on the statistics. Uh, that's the age of people in this industry right now. These are people who have been programming for five or six years, but that mm -hmm. means they started in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Or it means that they decided they wanted to be a product manager, which means they've somehow gotten those qualifications and the training. They've worked somewhere else. In, uh, in the highest tech industries, there is everything that amounts to an apprenticeship in almost all real jobs. You've got to work for people who are more experienced than you to learn how to do the job. All right, that's brilliant. Thanks very much. Okay, piece of cake.